Well, good morning. So we are down here in the kennel and we already have someone that's leaking on my floor. At least you went back there off the carpet. Thank you very much. So we're back down here this morning. Uh, this is the 20, I don't know. 22nd. It's 22nd, Vanessa says. I know it's Tuesday and Christmas is closing in quickly. And we're down here with Prissy's little girl and with Diva's little boys. So we're gonna start with the boys, they're wild. And your little Winky is wet because you're the one that just peed on my floor. Yes, oh my goodness, I know. She says, just let me be on your leg. Uh, these guys are doing great. They turned six weeks old on Saturday. And I'll tell you what, they are full of it, as you can tell. They are have no inhibitions whatsoever. And I would think that they would influence her to be a little bit more active. She's like, oh, this is new. I just went down with Vanessa to bring them up because I wanted to trim her face and take her video. And she was as active down there as they are up here. I know, now you're gonna lick my hand. So, but we're gonna start out with Diva's kids this morning. Oh my goodness sake. You are wound for sound. You need to go out and play if it gets not raining, but it's raining this morning. So, let me hold this guy down. He's got the blue collar. Oh, I know, you need to go outside and run your energy off. Oh my goodness to you. I'll tell you what, that's really important when you get these guys home. They need to run this energy off at least two to three times a day. This is like hanging on to a jumping bean. 5641 is the blue collared male and he has the massively blue colored eyes. They are the most pretty set of blue eyes I think I've had in a long time. Okay, so you can hold still. That's it. That's it. Uh, coats are doing really good. I love the coloring. He says I'm wiggling my tail. And they're just doing phenomenal. They're going to get a haircut this week, get their feet trimmed like a poodle, get their ears plucked. They're going to get their face retrimmed. And, uh, oh, we got to weigh you. So come up here. Come up here, little booger. Let's see what they weigh. Oh, no, 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 no chewing and no, this will be a joke trying to get a weight, but let's try. So we are three pounds. Oh, I gotta let go of you to get it to work. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, I can tell you he's either three, he's either three pounds, 15 ounces, 0.5, or he is 14, or, I'm sorry, he is, <laughs> I, well, I know it's three pounds, 15, five, but I think he goes over four, just to stop, stop. He's like maybe four pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. Stop, stop. Oh, be free, I give up. So you're, so, oh, you climbed up. He is somewhere between three pounds, 15, five, and four pounds, five to 10 ounces. So, <clears throat> That's where he's at. But you are just nonstop ball of fur energy today. Yes, you are. You need to go play. We need to get you to go play. No, I'm holding your ears. You can't lick me. <laughs> All right, let's grab the other one. Come here, little man. Come here, little man. He's a good boy. I know your brother's going to be obnoxious. He is 56, 47. And I will tell you, if you have children at home that are going to play with these guys, and they're very young, I would not let them carry them around because if you don't hang on, they're gonna jump out of your arms and they're gonna hit the floor and you're gonna have busted teeth or a busted leg. Leave my microchipper alone. And uh, so you're much better off if you've got kids, they're on the floor and they're playing with them on the floor. You found my microchipper handle, didn't you? Oh my golly sake. Guess what? Can't reach it. So, this little guy is the lighter chocolate Merle. I love the coloring. And he is just as ornery and wild. He's got a neon green collar. Let me see your eyeballs. Oh, they're green. I don't think there's any blue, and I'm going to hold him off my lap so he can't jump. Can you show him your eyeballs? I know. You're just a pistol. Your tail's waggling. You're ready to go, aren't you? All right, we're going to attempt a weight. Let's see. Three pounds, 3.0. Oh, we did it. Good job, buddy. Can you do it for me? Can I get a decent weight on you? Oh, no. We... Four pounds, maybe. That was close. 
he was four pounds something when he was smelling the floor. I don't know. I'm still like four pounds ten, something like that. Um, they've had their first puppy shot. They also had a Parvo booster when they were about four weeks old. Um, this little guy says, I am taking off with a rattle toy. A lot of people keep asking me where I get these rattle toys. These are baby toys from Walmart. Pups at this age love them. It gives them an interactive thing. It makes noise, and they feel like they're really accomplishing something. And uh, they can't chew them apart. Now, as an older dog, can they chew them apart? Yeah, maybe. But as puppies, no, it just gives them lots of time and lots of fun. But I get baby toys at Walmart, so that's a great place to get them. Um, what else can I tell you about these guys? They're going in right after Christmas to be spayed and neutered. And I'm going to see if I can get a new picture today. You kind of look like you have bluish cast. Let me see. you got to hold still. Psst, 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 psst. No, they're a really light green. Okay, you're gone. Um, but I'm going to try and get pictures today if I can. If I can get them to hold still, it'll be a real feat. But we're going to try it. What are you doing? You're chewing on my arm. Oh, you're biting. No biting. So um, for now, that's really all I have to throw at you. Um, they have not been in the snow yet. I've had people ask me if they get to go in the snow. They will get to go in the snow if they're still here before they go home and we have some snow. Right now we have mud and rain. Our snow is gone. Give me the microchipper. Give me the microchipper. Okay. So, I hope you've enjoyed their video. You can tell from this activity level you're going to have your hands full. So they will get into anything and everything. Oh, you want to get in there? It would be nice if you do that on your own. It says, no, I'm too busy. And uh, good jump. But just remember, things to do on bad days. Take a ball, roll it down the hall, let them learn to chase it and bring it back to you. Um, you know, 15, 20 tri trips down the hall, you're going to have their energy level burned out. Um, we change their toys every day. Oh, you like these? Oh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Yes, I'm going to take it. They uh, are just like kids. They get bored with something they've seen. They haven't seen these toys, so they're having a great time with them. Um, a great place to get your toys is American Thrift Store, Goodwill. I don't pay more than 50 cents to a dollar per toy. And I try not to get the ones with the Beanie Babies in them. These don't have Beanie Babies in them. But um, I get a lot of really nice toys from Goodwill and, and American Thrift. So try that. It's sure cheaper than pet store toys. And um, if they tear a hole in it, you can throw it away. But they're doing wonderful. They're on dry dog food. We're going to wean them this week. And uh, they're right on time for everything that, they <laughs> everything that they're doing. And uh, personalities are really good. They're very social. They love to play. They love it when we come down. They wiggle and wag their tail and just have a fit for somebody to pay attention to them. So uh, if you have questions about these guys, please give me a call. If you have not booked in for puppy pickup, you can't bang into each other head first, guys. Uh, what? I got your toy. I'm going to pull. Yeah, I'm going to pull. You want to play tug of war? Uh, the best thing you can do on your end also for their chewing, they're going to lose all their teeth by eight months old. They are going to chew on everything that they can chew on. So hard things, bully sticks, cow toes, um, deer antlers. Um, what else can I throw at you? Uh, raw bones are the best thing in the whole world. And um, I would look for um, rib bones. Rib bones are phenomenal and do it raw do not cook them do not boil them don't put them in the microwave their gut is not made for cooked food so make sure you give it to them raw but other than that um you should have um you should have gotten your videos and your vitamin information if you have not your video is a private uh, group of videos that i send you what and um if you haven't gotten those, please email me, or no, don't email me. Shoot me a text, tell me you did not get the videos, and I will be more than glad to resend them out to you. So, um, have a great week. Have a merry, merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you go to your a church of your choice and enjoy the holiday season. 
And uh, we'll talk to many of you soon, and we'll see you pretty soon, too. Have a good one. Bye-bye.